morning welcome back i'm very excited my 31st birthday is in two days and i have an exciting week ahead over the next few days i am going to be pampering myself and doing all of my beauty maintenance kind of things i feel like i need a refresh on pretty much everything that i like to do so i was kind of putting everything off until this week so that i would be like nice and fresh and feeling extra good for my birthday so i thought it would be fun to film a video and share all of the things that I am gonna be doing. Some of it is gonna be stuff that I'm gonna go out and get done by someone else, but a lot of it is gonna be stuff that I will be doing on myself at home. So I need to do my hair, my color needs to be refreshed. I also really need a trim because I haven't gotten a haircut in several months. I want to tint my eyebrows. I want to give myself a lash lift and tint. I'm going to wax my face. I'm going to get my lip filler touched up. I'm getting a Brazilian wax and getting my nails done and a pedicure. I think that is everything we'll be doing in this video. But it's currently Monday morning. Today I have a few appointments. First, I'm gonna be going to the med spa and I'm gonna get my lip filler touched up. I wanted to do that first because sometimes my lips will be a little bit bruised and they're always gonna be swollen. It usually takes a few days for everything to settle and have like your final lips. And then I have a wax appointment, gonna get my Brazilian. But a portion of this video is sponsored by Dossier. Thank you so much to them for working with me. They have been a big supporter of my channel for years now and they are one of my favorite companies to work with because I literally use their products every single day. So Dossier makes replicas of brand name designer fragrances. It's the exact same scent, exact same high quality. You're just getting it in simpler packaging without the celebrity marketing and retailer markups. So you're paying 70 to 90% less in some cases. They also now make candles and reed diffusers. So if you also like your home to smell just as good as you do, you can get some home scents to match your perfume. My favorite for the longest time is the Ambery Saffron. If you've been watching me for a while, you already know it's the dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540 perfume. That has become my signature go-to scent. But I've been trying to switch it up a little bit here and there. Today I am wearing the Floral Berries, which is a Jo Malone dupe. It's like sweet and a little floral, but in a really sexy way. Like it's not, I don't know, sometimes florals can smell kind of like old lady to me. This just smells so good. Their perfumes are also now available in Walmart stores, which is so exciting. So if you prefer to smell the fragrance in person, rather than ordering it online, check your local Walmart and see if they have them in stock yet. Thank you so much Dossier for working with me again. need you to know that as I was paying for my wax, the girl at the front desk checking me out said, I love your perfume. It smells so nice. See? I'm telling you guys, I am always getting asked what perfume I'm wearing, always getting complimented on my scent dossier. Love it. Okay, I'm home now. I making myself another coffee. I just feel like I need it today. Um, but here's how my lips are looking. So she just added a little bit to the top lip, mostly like here where it was looking kinda deflated and then just in the border and like the cupid's bow area. And then my bottom lip, I hadn't gotten anything done in over two years. So one side had went down a little bit more than the other side so she just like filled in a little bit in like one spot on the bottom lip just to even it out when they're freshly done they are always gonna look a little bit crazy because it's swollen and irritated and then after like a full week or two is when you have like your final result but it's actually really nice out today 
and we've had super crappy weather the last couple weeks so i think i want to go down to the pool and just lay outside in the sun for like an hour or two because my tan needs a little touch up and i would love to be nice and tan for my birthday i have the brightness turned up on my camera so i am looking just as pale as i was earlier but i laid outside listened to a couple podcast episodes. I was out there for probably about two hours. And I don't know if you could see it right there. I have my wax pot plugged in and heating up. And I'm going to tint my brows first because that's gonna sit on there for like 30 to 40 minutes. And it's okay if it stays longer than that. That way that can just sit and do its thing. Then I'm gonna do my lashes and then I'll wax last. That is the plan. So for my brows, lately I was doing henna for a while, but the last several months I've just been doing permanent hair color and I find that that lasts a really long time too and it's just like a lot easier to wipe off because the henna gets like really hard and then it's, I don't know, it's a pain. And I've been doing the same color that I have on my hair for stroke 71, but I think I'm gonna add in a little bit of seven stroke 73, which is like a golden light brown, just so my brows don't come out as dark and hopefully it'll warm them up a little bit. I'm gonna mix like equal parts. So there's the color in there. And then I'm gonna add a little splash of developer, try to get like a one-to-one -one ratio there's a developer in there i'm going to mix it together with a eyebrow brush and i'm just gonna paint this on and i like to just go back and forth to make sure i'm fully coating all of the hairs in all directions that's why I do like to tint the brows first and then wax them after because when you're waxing, you're leaving all of those pores open so the skin will suck up the color and stain more. But if you wax after, anything you got on the skin, the wax will kind of like clean it up. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like my brows look so good when they are freshly dyed. They just look so much fuller. Okay, so brows are painted on. I'm just going to leave those because by the time I finish my lashes, it'll be plenty of time. So for my lashes, this is the kit that I use. I haven't done this in quite a while because I've been getting lash extensions for the last several months. Um, but it works pretty good. I got it on Amazon. I will link it down below. This is what the inside of the kit looks like. I already have a separate video where I did a tutorial and walked through step by step how I do this. So I am gonna just link that down below if you guys wanna watch and I'll have the kit linked in the description as well. But I'm gonna just put on some music and time lapse this part because it kinda takes a while. I look insane right now. <laughs> um, but I did the lifting already, so now I just have the tint on there. That's the last step. This just has to sit for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna wipe everything off.
Okay, the brows look a little bit intense right now because obviously my skin underneath is stained, so they're like, ooh. But in about a day or two, they will look better and more natural and like softer. But I'm really happy with the color. They're like a little bit lighter and warmer than my hair color. And I think they're gonna look really good especially once my hair is down and like I have a little bit of makeup on and stuff. Um, and the lashes, they look so good. My lids are stained a little bit, but I can't get them wet for at least 24 hours because of the lift. It's basically a perm for your lashes is what you're doing. So. I think it's like 24 to 48 hours you have to avoid getting them wet otherwise it'll just like completely ruin the perm um so i just used a q-tip to wipe off the tint stuff as best i could so it's a little messy looking right now but again in like a couple of days everything will look nicer but it's so crazy like my lashes are pretty long i have been using a lash serum on them every night for the past couple of months but the color of them is naturally so ashy and light that you really can't tell unless i have mascara on and then doing the lift really just like pushes them up so that you can really see all of the lashes better and it just like makes your eyes look more open and it kind of it just makes it look like you used a lash curler but they stay like that which is great the brows will probably last for about a month or two and then the lash lift lasts about also six to eight weeks the tint doesn't last as long just because of like you know washing your face all the time and i wax my face so now that is all nice and smooth the brows are all cleaned up and i'm already feeling a little bit better once i have my hair done tomorrow mm, i'm gonna be feeling amazing the ends are just starting to look a little bit faded and i have a lot of red tones right now through the ends and then my roots my natural color is pretty dark anyway I'd say it's only like maybe one level lighter than what I've been putting on it, but my natural color is very ashy. So I don't know, in some lighting, I just feel like my roots look like so dull and it almost looks kind of like gray and dusty and I hate that look. So need to refresh the roots as well. That'll be tomorrow's project. I will see you then don't mind the washing machine going it's already almost nine o'clock finally gonna do this hair I was gonna just wait and do it later in the week but then I remembered I'm getting my nails done tomorrow and I want to do a light color so I don't want to risk staining them at all so I may as well just do it tonight get it over with I got the color that I'm gonna use for my roots Wella Cholesterol Perfect for stroke 71 which is a dark brown ash. I feel like this color is the perfect deep, dark, rich brown without being too cool tone or too warm tone. It's just like the perfect neutral, but like still really rich and like chocolatey. That's what we're gonna be using for the roots and I'm gonna apply that with 10 volume developer. And then for the ends of my hair, I'm gonna do a gloss redken jade dq for abn which is dark roast um it's just basically a dark ash brown and i like to do that on the ends so that way i'm not just like layering permanent color over and over and over and i haven't done permanent color on my roots literally since i first did my hair this color back in like august or september i think it was august i have just been doing like demi permanent glosses on it to refresh the tone but i do feel like it's been long enough that like now i have enough of a root that i am starting to notice it especially like around my hairline i don't know it just bothers me this has to sit on the hair for 40 minutes the gloss only has to sit on for about 20 minutes so i think what i'm gonna do is just apply the root color first and then i'll kind of like wet my ends 
and then apply the gloss for like those last 20 minutes. That way everything can just process together and then I can just hop in the shower and wash everything out. And then after I wash all of that out, I'm gonna give myself a trim. my hair where I always wear it down the middle and I'm not cutting like actual length off I don't want my hair to be any shorter I just want to like dust the ends to keep it healthy because I have noticed that I've had a couple of split ends recently so I like to just split it down the middle and pull it all forward because this is the way I always get my hair cut anyway is I have it pulled forward and then just cut blunt straight across from the front. So I'm just gonna take that little bit and I just cut straight across, nice and blunt. And same amount on the other side. Perfect. And then I really want to make these front pieces shorter. So try to get the section even on both sides. And I have a separate video where I talk through this more in more detail and really explain like how to do like these long curtain bangs, face frame pieces. I will link that in the description if you want like an actual tutorial. So right now these pieces come down past my chin, like where they start. And I wanna bring it like to the bottom of my lip. That's where they're gonna start. And then this I'm gonna blend into these pieces. Take a little bit at a time and bring it all the way across my head. Same thing on the other side. And then after I cut this side, I'm gonna just make sure that it looks even with the other side and that everything looks like the same length. gonna like slide cut down I haven't had my front pieces this short in a while uh, hopefully I don't regret it let's blow it out and see how it looks now that it's dry I do love it and they're still long enough that I can tuck them behind my ear. I like that it just like gives me a little more shape in the front. The color came out so good. A little darker and richer and more refreshed. 
I'll show you how it looks tomorrow, obviously in natural light. Now I am going to put on my pressed white strips. I started doing these again recently and I wish I could remember who told me this, but somebody commented on one of my videos and was like, you should cut the strips in half horizontally and that way not only are you getting like double the amount of strips but that way you're just putting them on the front of your teeth not wrapping it around and you won't get as much sensitivity so i've been doing that for the past few days now and no sensitivity at all and normally these do make my teeth pretty sensitive So thank you, whoever it was that had gave me that amazing tip. I'm gonna put on my Lash Serum. And then Nivea Cream. Take a good amount of that. And I put a thick layer on my face and my neck. And I just leave this on and I let it sink in and then once it's like pretty much all absorbed into my skin whatever is left like just sitting on the surface I will just rub it in and I just go to sleep like that I just feel like my skin has never looked and felt better try it out if you haven't already I will see you tomorrow Alexa, pause. I don't want to get a copyright strike. Happy Wednesday. It is my 31st birthday. So crazy. I so far have been loving being in my 30s. Honestly, I feel like I'm thriving. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people are like, Oh my God, guys, can you believe I just turned 24? I'm getting so old think okay Ashley calm down but I don't know I love getting older I feel like with each year that goes by I just have my shit together more and more I'm more confident I feel like I just keep <laughs> looking better and better oh <laughs> uh, no but really like when I look back at myself in my early 20s I'm like, oh my god, like I just look like such a baby and I was not financially independent. I felt so like lost and confused, didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, like didn't know where I wanted to live or what I wanted to do for a career and my mental health was just bad. And I don't know, I feel like sometimes I definitely can get caught up in that feeling of like putting pressure on myself or feeling like oh you know I'm at this age and when I was younger I always thought at this point that I would like be married and own a house and maybe have kids I don't know and you know when you see other people your same age that are just like on a different path in life doing other things and maybe going the more traditional route sometimes I look at that and I'm like thank god because that looks awful <laughs> but then sometimes I'm like damn you know like what's wrong with me where did I go wrong where like I feel like delayed in a sense but for the most part I just feel so proud of myself for where I'm at like I feel proud of how independent I am the fact that I don't rely on anyone for anything and I feel really happy with where I live I feel happy with where I'm at in life I feel like I have such a good group of friends and a great support system and I got my dog. I feel like I achieved what I wanted as far as like getting the career of my dreams. Like I have so much flexibility. I get to be creative and do things that I love. 
and also work part-time hours while still like being able to live comfortably my 20s while I had some great memories from that time they kind of sucked and I'm sure it's just gonna keep getting better and better because I know so many women that say that their 40s is even better than their 30s and I also think about people that I know growing up that passed away really early and don't have the privilege of ever turning this age and getting any older so you know next time you think to yourself ugh, i don't want to age i feel like i'm getting old anything negative related to getting older think about that you know it really is a privilege to get older so yeah i feel so good anyway i just touched up the waves in my hair i put on a little bit of makeup because i want to take some photos i got a big 31 balloon let me show you i blew these up last night so we got a three and we got a one i got these from amazon they were just a couple dollars each oh so here is the hair so you can see no more red tones it's just nice and dark love it and here's my nails oh i love them they just look so clean and so pretty i wanted a french manicure but i wanted it to be a little bit more subtle so she did bubble bath as the base color and then funny bunny for the white. I am going to change, take these pictures, and enjoy my birthday. I decided I'm not going to vlog any of this week because I really just wanna be in the moment, but I am gonna record as much as possible on my Instagram stories, and I'm gonna make a separate highlight for it. So by the time you're seeing this video, obviously my birthday and everything already passed, but just go to my personal Instagram page and I'll have all the stories saved there so you can go through and kind of watch like a mini vlog 